Hello, I'm Shelley Duvall. Welcome to Fairy Tale Theater. Tonight's show is adapted from the classic Brothers Grimm tale about a jealous queen whose vanity destroys her and almost destroys our heroine, Snow White. Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. <laughs> Upon a time, in a faraway land with graceful forests and towering mountains, there lived a beautiful young queen. As well as being lovely, she was a warm person, and she and the king were very much in love. One day, as she was sewing a birthday gift for her husband, she pricked her finger with the needle. Oh, how I wish I could have a child with lips of deep red. And skin, white as snow. And hair, black as the wood on my window frame. Several months later, the young queen gave birth to a daughter. And everyone in the kingdom was very happy. But happier than everyone was the beautiful young queen. For her daughter was blessed with lips a deep red and skin white as snow. And her hair was as black as the wood in the window frame. In discussing the matter with the king, they decided to call the baby Snow White. But all did not go well. The young queen died a short while later. And everyone in the land felt a very deep sadness. After several years had passed, the king married once again. But the new queen, while very beautiful indeed, did not have the goodness in her heart that Snow White's mother possessed. She was mean and selfish and very, very vain. the fairest of them all. You, my queen, with your beauty so grand, are indeed the fairest in the land. Of course I am. Look, my cheekbones high, but with a gentle roundness, fairly flowing into a frame for a perfect face. And my lashes, exquisite lashes, that allow me to coyly lower my lids without fear, or open them wide, and send even the strongest man into a fever. The years do not affect Skin, my skin could be satin. Why must 
I be disturbed? Yes, who is it now? It is I, Sir Mother Snow White. Oh. It's you. All right, come in if you must. I did not mean to disturb you, but look what the court jester taught me. What on earth are you doing? Juggling. Juggling? How horrid! How dare you! Out! Forgive me, stepmother. I beg your pardon, my queen. Yes. My queen, bad news for you, I fear. Since Snow White has come so near, I've changed my mind. I have come to find that she, with her beauty so rare, is by far the fairest of the fair. What? Snow White? That scrawny pest! How dare you speak to me in such a way? It's a lie! An outrageous lie! My queen, to accept the truth with the dignity and grace would be far more rewarding than forever fretting about your face. Stop that! Oh, Snow White, that gawky rat! I hate her. I want the royal huntsman! Bring him to me this very moment! Yes, my lady! The queen wants the huntsman at once. Hurry! 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 Find him quickly. That's for the huntsman. That's the huntsman. I shall never hear those words from you again. I will not tolerate such lies. not to your liking. Listen carefully. I order you this very evening to take Snow White deep into the forest. Once you are there, you are to cut out her heart and bring it back to me in this box. A human heart may not be a pleasant sight for a queen. But I must see it. I must know she's dead. Then you shall have it. You almost there? Stop. When I say stop. What is it my stepmother wants me to see so deep in the woods? We'll see. You're not going to kill any animals, are you? Especially deer, they're so beautiful. I won't be killing animals. to be swift. No, wait. No, I can't. I can't die without my prayers. You must have my prayers. Yes, please. Well, say them quickly, then. Why must I be murdered? No questions. Just prayers.
Queen ordered me to kill you. I was to cut out your heart and return it to her in this. I'm not going to do it. I cannot do it. I cannot kill one so innocent as you. One who would forgive even me. I'll kill a boar. Take the queen heart of a wild pig. And you must never go back to the castle, Snow White. You're far safer here in the woods than you would be back there with your stepmother. I do not need your approval anymore. I hope you're aware of that. For I know that I'm stunning. And I'm not dependent on you or anyone else. No, I'm very self-assured. And I have no need of compliments nor any lust for flattery. What is keeping that fool huntsman? Well? The heart of Snow White, my lady. I with a heavy heart and gallopy little urchin had. Off with you. They certainly have small appetites. Cold? Cold soup?
my meat. Some of my peas are missing. Something's written in this house. And maybe it's still here. My, what a lovely child. Who is she? A princess. She must be a princess. You've never seen a princess, so how would you know? So, I've seen a prince. That's not the same. It's a stupid assumption, Bubba. Well, she looks like a princess, and don't call me stupid. Shut up. Stop, Stop it. it. Shut up. Shut up. We don't want to wake her. Let her sleep. Oh, yes. Let her sleep. In my bed. How generous of you. And where do I sleep, huh? Hush. You sleep in your chair. Oh, good. Very good. Some of my peas are missing. And now my bed's gone. Come on. Let's go finish our dinner. the fairest one of all. Talk to me. Wake up! Tell me of my beauty. You, my queen, are ever so fair. But even your beauty cannot compare with that of Snow White, who's alive and well, far in the forest where the seven dwarves dwell. Don't be ridiculous. That is impossible. Her heart is in this box. You're lying again. When the mirror tells a lie, it shatters in shame. I'm still in one piece. It's the truth I proclaim. in this box. It is that of a ball, my lady. And where is Snow White's heart? Come here, I want you to see something. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Show me the fairest one of all. <laughs> Enough. Surrender yourself to the guards. Fool, I will solve this problem myself.
Are you a princess? Well, yes, I am. I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. She is a princess. I was right. I told you so. <laughs> What's your name? Snow White. What's yours? Bubba. Why are you so small? I'm small because I'm a dwarf. What exactly is a dwarf? Someone who is small, like all of us. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. These are my brothers. Brothers, this is Princess Snow White. Princess, he's Barnaby. That's Boniface. He's Bruno. And Baldwin. And Bertram. And Bernard. Welcome to our home, Princess. Yes, a pleasure, to be sure. I thank you. A princess slept in my bed last night. A princess. Imagine that. Thank you, Bubba. It was very comfortable. Oh, you're welcome, Princess. You don't have to call me Princess. You can just call me Snow White. All right, Snow White. Sure. Yes, well, we've a busy day ahead of us. And first, we better have our breakfast. And it's your turn to set the table, Bonifaz. <laughs> Can I help you, Boniface? No. I like to do things my own way. Oh. What are you doing here, Snow White? I was lost in the forest. The forest? Bears. Boars. Dangerous. What were you doing in the forest alone after dark? Well, I was with someone, but we were separated. Oh, well, maybe one of us could help you find your way back home. Oh, no. Why not? Because I could do it. I could find your castle. I'm more afraid to go to the castle than I am to be alone in the forest at night. Afraid? Why? My stepmother, the queen, is very evil. And she told the huntsman to take me into the forest and cut out my heart with a knife. Oh. <laughs> cut out your heart? Huh? With a knife? Yes. To die in the forest? Oh, yes. Wicked, evil thing. Ghastly. I know it sounds terrible. Oh, she should be ashamed. After all, you are a princess. Then do not go home, or she'll try to kill you again. Can I stay here? I can help you clean and sew and mend your clothes and make your beds. Good. Wait a minute. Where would I sleep? Oh, I wouldn't take your bed, Bubba. I, I promise. Well, we do need help. We work in the mines all day. And we cook our dinners in the morning because we're too tired at night. And I'm tired of eating cold dinners. Yeah. But how could we ask a princess to cook for us yeah. and wash our clothes? Oh, that's all right. I don't mind. No. I like to do things my way. We don't need any help. Let's take a vote. All in favor of Snow White staying? Aye! Too bad, Boniface, you blew. <laughs> Just an ordinary peddler. Come on, let's go. Smell, too. I sing in the valley, I sing in the wood, I sing for a true love all day. I dream of the true love of that I have not, of that I shall find someday. For I'll be a prince, and you'll be my dwarf. Good day, prince. Oh, good day, dwarves. Ah, I see. You're off to the mines again. Yes. Oh, prince, you should know who's staying it out. Oh. Shh. 
who is staying at your house? Uh, 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 no one you would care about. Just another dwarf. Why not tell him? He's always searching for love, and you know he would love Snow White. Listen, Bubba, then we'd have no one to tend to us. No hot dinners. And you know how we need hot dinners. Oh, I guess you're right. Yes, yes, they're so pretty. Would you like some? Oh, no, I would, but I haven't got any money. Money? You don't need any money, dearie. I don't? No, oh, no, 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 not at all. <sighs> a lovely child like yourself should have a gift of weapons and laces. <laughs> Come and select whatever you want. Lovely wound your neck. I like it. Let's try it. I like blue. Oh, yes. I wound once. I wound twice. And nice. And tight. Oh, it's a little too tight. Oh. 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 Not so beautiful today, dear. <laughs> Mirror on the wall. Who is the fairest one of all? You, my queen, with your beauty so rare, are indeed the fairest of the fair. Oh. Oh, thank heaven. Oh, this calls for celebration. Bring me a basket of fruit and a flask of our finest wine. Lady wishes to... Look! Oh, my oh, God! God. Oh, what's on the ground? What's on the ground? She's dead! Our oh, princess is dead! What beautiful ribbons! That's what killed her, stupid! Strangled by beautiful ribbons! Stop here, Gavin! Help me pick her up! Let's get these ribbons off of her! A woman selling ribbons. A peddler woman? We saw her. Yeah. Yes, we saw her. This morning. I knew it. I knew it was that evil queen. The queen? How do you know? That's a stupid assumption, Bubba. I know. She's a witch. I knew it when I saw her. And don't call me stupid. Come here. Stop it, both of you. Stop it. It was your evil stepmother. But why? I don't understand it. Wicked people have wicked ways, Snow White. Yes, I know that's true, but why does she want to kill me? Because she is wicked. She's probably just jealous. That's a stupid assumption, Bubba. Hey, stop it, both of you! Stop it! Stop that fighting! Listen to me, Snow White. You must keep the door bolted and let no one in the house when we're gone. Do you think she'll try it again? She might. Don't trust her. And don't talk to anyone. Do you understand? Yes, I understand. Oh, if I ever saw that queen, I'd hit her so... Wait a minute. Where am I going to sleep? Don't fret, Bubba. I'll make a bed on the floor. Oh, the curves and 
hollows of my neck. So lovely. So lovely. The gentle arching of my eyebrows fascinates me. Most others have such grotesque misshapen eyebrows. And never a wrinkle, never a line, never those dreadful furrows and cracks and blemishes that other women have. <laughs> What do you like best about living in a castle? Oh, it's big, I guess. Do you have your own room? Uh, yes, of course. I have, well, I had four rooms. Four rooms? Four rooms all to yourself? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I had a music room. Oh. A painting room. Oh. A study room. Oh. And the bedroom. Oh. Oh. I'd get lost in all those rooms. I would like my own bedroom. I think it's much more fun to live like you do all together. Nah, I'd still like my own bedroom. Yes, I'd be very happy if you had your own bedroom. I agree, then you can sleep your own way. Yeah, snore, snore, oh. snore. <laughs> I don't even miss the castle anymore. It's too big and cold and lonely. Although, I did like the moat. A moat? With water? Once when I was little, I jumped in and I swam. Nobody knew, of course, or I would have been punished. Uh, you swam? Not us. We don't swim. Why not? Dwarfs can't. Have you tried? Uh -uh. No. Dwarfs can't. But why? We're too little. Fish would eat us. No, they wouldn't. No, no, you are much bigger and stronger and braver than those fish. That's a stupid thing. That's only an assumption, Snow White. Bubba's right. The fish should eat us up. Well, anyway, I like living here better than the castle, even without a moat. I know a prince that has a castle. A singing prince. Quiet! Nah. Bubba's always dreaming. He doesn't know any prince. A singing prince. What a stupid assumption. Ah! Ah! Stop it! Stop that fight, both of you! I'd like to meet a prince someday, especially one that sings. Love songs? Bubba, shut up! What do you dig for all day? Gold. Gold? Is it plentiful? <laughs> <laughs> We haven't found any in ten years. But we can dig it, don't we? Yeah. yeah! Well, since you all work so hard, I'm gonna get up early tomorrow morning and fix hot cakes and syrup! Hot cakes and syrup! Yeah. 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 Bring me my breakfast. The lady needs her breakfast. Quickly, bring her breakfast at once. Hurry, hurry. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who is the fairest of them all? You, my queen, are ever so fair. But even your beauty cannot compare with that of Snow White, who's alive and well, far in the forest where the seven dwarves dwell. What? Oh. What? Why are you disturbing me? What is it now? Your breakfast, my queen. I don't want any breakfast. How dare you? Begging your forgiveness, my queen. I'll kill her this time. Horrid. Ugly. Ungrateful child. <laughs> Today, your disgusting ruby red lips will bite into my beautiful ruby red apple. <laughs> and we will fatten you up with a wondrous fruit of doom.
voice tells me I am alone Never tells me why Perhaps a maiden fair With lips of a ruby red Maiden fair Maiden fair Such a lovely song Thank you. Well, you know, I find it difficult to believe a man such as yourself could ever be lonely. Ah, uh, it is sad but true, fruit woman. Oh, well, perhaps you would like a grape. Why, thank you. <laughs> and some company. Hmm. Well, thank you very much, fruit woman. <laughs> My, what a lovely apple. Is that for no. sale? Oh. But there are nicer things than apples, Prince. I'm sure. Don't you find me irresistible? Oh, uh, why, yes, of course. No. 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 Yes. No. Yes. Oh, I forgot. What? Oh, never mind. Look at that. Come on, let's go. Yeah. Skin as white as snow. My name. Good day, friends. Well, oh, good day, dwarves. If you ever saw her, you'd Bubba. call it. If I ever saw who, Bubba? Oh, nobody, Prince. But Barnaby, she would fall in love with him, too. You heard her say she'd like to meet a prince someday. Bubba, we don't want to lose her. I've grown fond of her. I like her very much. Yeah, me too. Our house is happier than ever. We'd all miss her. I think I love Snow White. She's my favorite big person. Hello, young lady. Cat got your tongue? Well, no mind. Oh, like an apple. Oh, you would, I know, if you'd ever bitten into one of these gourmet apples. You'd like another. <laughs> you mean I must eat this entire apple myself? <laughs> oh, what's the matter, young lady? <laughs> Are you afraid it might be poisoned? Oh. Well, then. Let me put your fears to rest. I'll take the first bite, and you can have the rest. Mm. Oh, delicious. <laughs> Would you like a bite? All right, my little snowdrop. <laughs> Go ahead now, take a bite. It is beautiful. Mm. It is delicious. Oh. No one can argue now. Now there's only one beauty in the land.
the fairest of them all. You, my queen, with your beauty so grand, are indeed the fairest in the land. Oh, thank heaven. Oh, thank heaven. Oh, thank heaven. Oh, no! She's really dead this time. She looks so pale. She always looks pale, but not that pale. And she looks so, so still. Oh, she's just baking it. She's cold. Her face is very cold. Even her hands, even her legs are so cold. The white is really dead. Oh, God, no. <laughs> Mirror, mirror on the wall, who is the fairest of them all? You, my queen, with your beauty so fair, none in the kingdom could hope to compare. Oh, you're just saying that. We could never bury her. She is much too beautiful to be buried. That's right. She should not be put under the ground. What then? What do we do? I know. We'll build a coffin out of glass. And we'll put her on top of the highest hill in the forest. And her beauty will be there for all to see. And to love. She will be there forever. And we could visit. No way yesterday we wouldn't be carrying a body today. Was she a princess? She was the most beautiful princess in the land. But now she's dead. You're sure she's dead? Her cheeks still have color and her, her skin a radiant glow. She is exquisite. Yes, Prince. And she was a friend to everybody. That she was. She's also heavy. Uh, and now we're going to put her on top of the highest hill for all to see. Come on, man, let's go. Look, she's alive. Oh, she's alive. Put a coffee. coffee, quickly. It must have been this poison apple. I knew it. The fruit woman. I knew it when I saw her. She was the evil queen. I knew it. Wickedness grows in the fertile soil of evil. That's a stupid assumption. Hey, hey, wait. Stop this. Stop this. Cut it out. Snow White. Look, look, look. I cannot imagine anyone ever hurting you. I am filled with love for you. Ah, oh, no. I cannot imagine life without you. Snow White, will you be my wife? Yes. I realize you must have some time to think it over. Yes. to 
my castle, all of you. We'll have a feast. And you and I will be married. All right. Snow White and the Prince married that very afternoon. The dwarves remained their friends and were invited to the castle every week for a swim in the moat and a fine feast. Meanwhile, the prince told his court magician about Snow White's evil stepmother. So the magician vowed to surprise the evil queen. <laughs> Softness, the perfection as it touches my forehead, kisses my ears, wisps against the nape of my neck. Oh, how I long to hear your voice. Tell me once again, mirror, mirror on the wall, who is the fairest one of all? Snow White. No, it's not true. And you, my queen, with a vanity unsurpassed and a soul of cruelty, shall find at last a fitting end to your lack of grace. You shall never again see your beautiful face. But, no, no, I, I have dozens of mirrors. And each and every one, as you look in it, shall turn to black. Thank you.